The MV Baltic Ace was a Bahamian car carrier ship that sank on December 5, 2012 in the North Sea at the collision with Corvus J. But before we get into it, we have to go back to 2005 when it was built. In 2005, construction had begun and she was finished in 2006 and sailed on her main voyage in 2007. There is no image of, of the ship being built. The Baltic Ace was 468 feet long, 148 meters, and was 7,787 tons. On December 5, 2012, she was sailing off the Dutch coast, carrying 1,417 brand new cars from Tokyo, Japan to all over Russia. It was a normal Monday night, but soon they suffered low visibility and causing a collision with the Siberian container ship, the Corvus J. The Corvus J suffered severe damage to her bow, but remained afloat. But the Baltic Ace, however, sank. After 15 minutes, the Baltic Ace capsized and sank, taking 11 of her 24 crew members with her. And it cost $10 million to repair the Corvus J and $28 million worth of cargo on the Baltic Ace was lost in the terrible disaster. The wreck was in the 100 foot deep waters in one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. There was a chance of a ship striking the wreck, causing the ship to sink or releasing bad substances into the environment, killing a lot of aquatic creatures. In March of 2014, Ritz Waterstat, Voss Callas, and Mandamote salvage teams took place to, remove the, to salvage the Baltic Ace. 150 people in 18 ships took place in the operation. The first day done was removing its remaining 143,000 gallons of oil. In April 2015, the Baltic Ace was cut up into eight sections. The aft was lifted up first. The, ba the bow was followed two days later. The ship's cargo was completely destroyed. The salvage operation was finished in October 2015 and the shipping lane was opened in, no in late November. The Baltic Ace cost $75 million to recover. But modern day technology makes sinking ships near impossible. So what the heck happened? The accident was by human error because both ships, both ships were blamed because, not, because none of the captains of both ships followed collision regulations. The sinking of the Baltic Ace proved that catastrophic failures can happen anywhere. Ships still sink today, mainly by human error, but hopefully we have learned from our mistakes and disasters like the sinking of the Baltic Ace and the Titanic and other deadly maritime disasters won't happen anymore. And that, well, that wraps up for this video, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to uh, like and subscribe to use some productions to see more just like it. And uh, yeah, we're out. And uh, just want to let you know, be sure to click the notification bell. We have an epic video coming out soon, sometime in this month. It's almost finished. But anyway, click the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.